This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hello there. Continue this series on design patterns. In this video, we will talk about the singleton pattern, a pattern that tries to solve two problems. So it has some critics about it because it breaks the single responsibility principle. And it also tries to provide a global access to, to an instance, but let's try to understand it. So I will change to the book here. So the singleton pattern is a creation of design pattern that lets you ensure that a class has only one instance while providing a global access point. So you can see that it already has two responsibilities. It provides only one instance and provides a global access point to it. But the problem that it tries to solve are very crucial because you have these problems on your on mostly of the cases. So uh, let's say you have a utility class that provides some uh, utility functions or something like that, and you don't need two instances of this class. So you just need one. And also you can have like a database and you don't need two instances of a, a database. You can have only one, but this database has to be global as well because some classes will use this database. So yeah, it, it is a very tricky pattern, although it is very useful, very, very useful. So let's try to un understand it. Uh, the problem that it tries to solve are two, as I said, ensure that a class has only one instance and provide a global access point to that instance. So uh, let's try to see how this can be applied in Godot engine. So here I am in Godot and I prepared this simple score node, score system, score class. And basically what it does is that it takes a current score and it compares if this current score is greater than the height score. If so, it will set this uh, high score to the new score. Uh, I should actually say this. Okay, so this is basically what it does. It controls the, the scoring of the game. But if you think about it, there are so many things that can increase the score of the player that can make the score increase or set a high score. There are so many things that can increase this score that it will be uh, not so reasonable to all of them creating new instances of a scoring class and then saving the score or making something like this. Instead, we can create a global instance of this and this instance, uh, actually, the, the main problem here is that what if uh, we create two instances of this score class and we don't sync the, the current score or the high score? So uh, on some instance it will be 11 and some other instance it will be 100. So you have to keep this in one single place. And this is what this class is proposing to do. So it's very clear that since we will have many classes sending information, sending data to a single class, and we need it to be single, we can apply the singleton pattern here. In Godot Engine, there is a very simple way to apply the singleton pattern. That is going to the project tab here, project settings, and we have here auto load. So we have an interface for creating singletons and you can see that this is the actual singleton here. So we have the, the singleton already explicitly uh, communicated to you that this will be a singleton node. So let's create a, let's load this script here. So on the singleton pattern score, we can set its name. So I will use score here and we can, uh, this is what this is the thing we have here, the enable singleton thing, and we can enable or disable it. And we also have the ability to open this script. So uh, we can quickly go to the script that we are using as a singleton. And when we set this, what Godot will do is that it will create the same tree. And we have uh, the root node of the tree load and has a sibling of this root node we will have the, the auto loads already loaded for us. So uh, let's say I will create a very simple scene here just so we can test this. So I will create a new score scene and this scene will have a label that will be the, the score. So score and we have something like score here. 
and I will just make it on the top white and make it centered and on this score label what I will do is that when uh, let me save this save uh, score interface and what I will do here is on the score label I will create a script and when it's ready it will uh, let me try to take rid of this singleton so you can see what it does. What I want to make here is that when it is ready, it will connect this signal, so score changed, to the label. So we can change the text to synchronize what is being displayed to what is behind the system. And I want to connect this to the label. So, uh, but how I will connect this if I don't have a reference to this node? So how will the label have a, a reference to the only instance of the, the score that we want to, to have in the whole game? Here is where the global thing comes in handy. So when we try to make this, uh, let's try to go here in the script. And well, what I want to do is that I want to go to the score and connect its signal, its uh, score changed signal to this node on score score changed uh, method so let's create this method here and we'll get the new score and I will set the text to be score and uh, let's say that this and modulate it to have the new score so this is the the function of it, all right and you can see that Godot is telling us that the score a uh, variable is not declared in the scope. So in this scope, in the class scope, we don't have any variable, any reference for a score thing. So we don't have a label, we don't have anything. So we are trying to make something that doesn't have a reference to what we are trying to connect. But if we go here in project, project, project settings, auto load, and we load this score, naming it with score, uh, now we have a singleton and then it, it 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 should work so if we test this we already have this score here so uh let me just change this to something more visual like this so we already have this right so when the the score is updated we will have this connected you see that we didn't get an error and probably this this should work already so yeah we don't have any errors now and now let's try to make something that will update this score so i will just create a button here, button, and just to test this, we will have increase score, and when this happens, so score button, let's create this, and it will quite make the same thing, but we will make the, the reverse operation, so instead of connecting the score node to this node, we will connect the button up signal to the score singleton, so on the ready, Call back here we will connect the button up to score set score uh, I should use strings here and we will pick the score dot score plus one I don't think we can bind this way so instead I will create an, another function here that when we press the button it will communicate the score auto load to update the, the score using its current score. So what I do here is that I will connect this node button up to itself on button on button up. In this function, in this callback, what we'll do is that we'll go to the score and we'll go to the current score plus one. This is what we'll do here. So if we test this we can see that the score update and we have this and you know that these are referring to the same class so if we go into the scene tree so remote scene tree here uh, see that we have this uh, root node so normally if I take rid of this auto load here you see that this won't appear here so we have this root node that is the scene that we are testing and we have this score and if we check the score here, we have this current score set to 8, which is what we are testing here. So if I update this, we have this updated there. 
And just so we know simply what this auto load does is that uh, I'll take rid of this. I will comment everything here just so we can test this properly. Let me take rid of this as well. Actually, not comment this, just this. And uh, so if we test it, we won't have any error. All right. So uh, what we will do here is that we will take rid of this singleton class of this singleton node. And now in the remote scene, we don't have it loaded as a sibling of the current scene. So we have the root, we have the current scene, and we don't have any other node here. But if we set it to be an auto load, let's go here, score, edit. Now we have, we will have a reference to this node as a sibling of the current scene. So we have this and this on the same hierarchy. But this is not the only use case for singletons, at least in Godot. Because uh, here in Godot, you can make a whole scene an autoload. Uh, in this case, I made a script an autoload. So if I go here in autoload, what we are loading is a script. So a GD script, right? But we can make a whole hierarchy of scenes a, a, an autoload as well. One of the use cases for that is, let's say, a music, a background music. So let's create another scene here, which will be a background music, so audio stream player. And what I will do here is that this will be the background music. Uh, let me load a music here. So here, uh, music. Let me take this music that I made here and I will open the project there. I will open directly here, open in file manager. I will throw this music there. And here I will make it play this music. If I test this, yes, save singleton background music. If I make it auto play, all right. But if I play this, if I play the, the game here, we don't have this music, right? And and even better, since it's an auto load, it will keep. Uh, let, let's remember how is the scene structure here. Remote, we have this score, which is an auto load. And if we switch the scenes, these auto loads will be kept in memory. So it, they won't fade away. They, they will be right there. So the music will keep playing if we switch the scenes. Let's try to make the following. I will add a, let me stop this. I will add a simple button here, a button, okay. So we will try to switch to the command pattern scene. So switch to command scene, which is this one right here. Remember, uh, I will make a simple script here. It can be a building script. And when this is pressed, so on bottom up, okay, we will ask the scene tree to switch to the command scene there. So uh, get scene, or oh, get tree dot change scene, and let's pick this uh, copy path, okay, save it, and let's see uh, what let's see what we are trying to achieve here. I will put this background music into this scene here, so uh, I will throw this here. So we have it playing on the scene, right? But if I try to change it, to, to change the, the scene, we'll lose this music. See, we don't have it playing anymore. So we don't want it to happen into our game. But if I make this a single tone, yeah, delete this node, properties, I will load the scene and notice that we can load a whole scene. So single tone, uh, background music, all right. Uh, you see that we don't have it uh, stopping anymore. So I will play the scene. Oh, I forgot to make this play project. Oh, I forgot to add the, the, the actual note. So I save this. Let's try this score. So you saw that the, the music doesn't stop playing. 
and Godot provides this on any sort. So uh, let's say that I don't want this score scene to be an independent scene. I want this to be an overlay on all other scenes. I can make this whole scene to be an auto load as well. So I can go here, project settings, load, and I will load this score interface, edit. And if I play the command pattern, there is the score, which I can increase the score and I can switch to this scene. But So this is the singleton pattern in Goro engine. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the content, make a very good use of the singleton pattern. It can be a very powerful, but it can be misleading sometimes. So use it carefully. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time.